Yeah, I feel like I feel like hardware, like chips and software, will be. It's like the new the new oil. It's the new gold. It's the new sort mm-hmm. of currency that's really going to be become extremely valuable. I mean, my my closest experience to that being super game changing, it's that you know, it's that the Tesla FSD stack, you know, the self driving mm-hmm. stack that I've had access to for you know a little over two years now. I think some somewhere around that time, and just watching it you know, get better and better and better. And just that drive that I had yesterday with my wife was completely mind blowing. Like I can legitimately yeah. say you made a comment about AI becoming better than humans. And in and, and some yeah. cases, the, the drive, the highway driving portion of it that we had yesterday on the software, I could, I could, I can very confidently say it drove better than I did. And that's the first time yeah. I ever said that about anything. And I'm, and I'm quite strict and very nitpicky when it comes to the self-driving tech because it's like i'm not just focusing on oh it made a left turn i'm like okay yeah. did it feel confident did it do i did i trust it was it did it feel mm. human if somebody that was brand new in the car that sat right next to me would they would they you know feel comfortable with this does it inspire mm. you to take this ride again and yeah. yes i mean dude i don't know what happened yesterday i know they released a brand new version version 1133 mm. and whatever they did was the sort of step change that I was, I've been looking for from the software to happen for a long time. And I know that we're working behind the scenes to get all the neural nets right. And for those that are not familiar with that term, it's basically the the algorithm, the code that makes it work uh, for advanced AI. Mm-hmm. Um, and they freaking they're doing it. And I I don't yeah. think the world's ready. <laughs> to your point, like the yeah. rest of the the rest of the advancements, it's like AI is going to transform the world in ways that yeah. I think is very hard to grasp and tough to really understand until you see it with your own two eyes. Like, and I think G- that's why I think GPT-4 has been such an interesting sort of development because it's mm-hmm. the first time I think the the broader public, like that just, you know, people that don't, don't have time like you and I to nerd out on these things, like in the, yeah. in the minutia, like they finally had an experience that they're like, whoa, okay. I see how this can disrupt everything. And yeah. I, I agree with you. I think it's just the beginning. And I, it's going to get weird. It's going to get yeah. so weird. And I don't yeah. know if it's going to be good or bad yet. <laughs> I, I caught myself the other day. I was, um, I was, I, I made a call to like a customer service about something. And I was having this conversation. And then at the end, they were like, I'll connect you to a human now. And I was like, wait a second. I was Dang. talking to a robot. Like, how is it, like it was it was something in our in the medical field so i had to call in a um an engineer to help me out to deal with something yeah. and i did not know i was talking to an ai bot it sounded like hi mr patel how are you and i'm like oh it must just you know the guy's probably there he looks on a computer yeah. screen that's why he knows who i am it was the bot it knew everything every it knew everything about me it had like mannerisms like a normal human like me and you wow. having an interaction right now like you could yeah. ask it like how's your day going oh my day's going great okay you know, so you think that this is a human on the other side. And yeah. so, yeah, I think eventually, I mean, bro, all those call center people, they're going to have a tough I time, know. man. You know, yeah. all my cousins, I better tell them, like, yo, you need to start looking for another <laughs> job. Chat GPT is coming for you. <laughs> you Dude, know? it's so true, though. I mean, it's it's such a disruption. It's such a disruption. And, yeah. it's, and it's a white-collar dis- disruption. It's the office worker. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the radiologist. It's the doctor. It's the lawyer. It's like these, like, non-physical yeah. jobs that are being disrupted. And then you layer on, you know, you take that AI and then you put it on a physical thing, like a humanoid robot or whatever, and then you start disrupting yeah. that side of it. And then at the like, okay, so then now what? Like, what's left? Yeah. You know, you dis- if you disrupt the say the soft skills or like the non physical skills, and then you disrupt the physical skills, what you know? Then you're left yeah. with these like very narrow use cases or 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 jobs f- based on today's economy that can. Yeah continue to live on or survive this transformation but that that transition feels it's coming Weird. way faster i believe than most people expect which i think it's going to cause a lot of a lot of issues in the transition but i don't know i yeah. don't know if, I, I just don't know yeah yeah i think i see and that's the thing though like the top 20 percent of any field and in any industry are going to actually excel like crazy my brother-in-law yeah. who's a lawyer he's using chat gpt right now for certain things and um he's like yeah this thing is a godsend it's amazing but the thing is like he's probably on the top 10 percent of lawyers so he can eliminate a lot of other steps whereas 
you know, there's still some limitations on on these AIs that can can basically wreak havoc if not taken proper, like taken into account properly. So as an example, this whole issue with hallucinations when it comes to ChatGPT and Bard, where you would ask them a question and if they don't know the answer, they'll they'll fake it. You know, yeah, and yeah. you just think, and you just go with it, like, oh yeah, you know, dude, that yeah, happened Thomas to me Shepard. before. Yeah. And then I'll ask him, yeah. I'm like, did you tell the truth? Like, no, sorry, I didn't. This is actually the correct answer. I'm like, bro, why don't you yeah. tell me that before? And it's like, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, like, yeah. When, when it comes to life and death decision, there's no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know? for real. You know, <laughs> it's like I wanted to make a left turn, but I made a right one. Sorry, yeah. don't worry. I'll, I'll catch yeah. Ventura Boulevard next time. Like, nah, bro, yeah. you, you, you left sided me right into a truck trailer truck yeah. so no it, like i said ai is one of those things that i think we we should be utilizing it but we cannot become so dependent that we give up those soft skills that make us human i think there's still i'm still firm believer that humans have a place in this world when it comes to getting stuff done and there's just so many things that humans can do that robots and machines will never never truly replace us but that doesn't mean that it's not going to replace the bottom half of us because there are a lot of people at the bottom half that, you know, clearly they have no, they don't have, what's the word? They don't have the, the, the right stuff to get the job done. They just exist based on the, like you said, you know, the top 20% work. Those are the people that are probably going to get disrupted. I actually have a, I have a hypothesis about that. I think, I mm -hmm. think what, what happened or what's happening, you know, so let me phrase it a different way. I think what's going to be great for humanity is if, AI and robotics get it to a point so that it maximizes the 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 tool set that would allow anyone to fulfill their deepest desire when it comes to bringing value. And I think, mm -hmm. like when we think about conceptually, the bottom fifty percent of say the working pr productivity of the people yeah. that uh, you know the, the, the productivity sort of you know, scale or whatever you want to call it. I think mm -hmm. those folks are just mismatched. They're not. They, they're, they're not in the right job. They're not in the right thing. Like that job might not exist. That tool set might not exist. The thing that yeah. really makes them feel like, holy crap, yeah, I'm passionate about this. It doesn't exist. Only a, a corporation might offer it or they, it just is not there. And then they just have to take a job until that thing appears. That, that, that's my hypothesis. And I think yeah. AI and robotics and sort of this new age of technology as long as it's, you know, you brought up the whole deflation aspect of it, as long as it's extremely affordable for people to access and it's plentiful and it's democratized, I think that whole bottom 50%, top 50% thing goes away. And it's mm. more about how can we maximize, like I said, how can we maximize the tools that will allow the maximum number of people to do the job that they want mm. to do at all times that society also finds valuable, you know, cause yeah. it's like, you can't, unless, unless all of us have everything, which I don't know if that's even possible. Right. It's like, it just gets really weird. This is where it gets like so, so weird and tough to yeah. sort of think through, but you know, yeah. who knows? I, I'm an optimist, but it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. It's really, really weird. Uh, to yeah. me, I, I'm looking at even some industry. Well, like the adult industry, like that's going to be disrupted. Like there's so I was looking at, yeah. I was doing fans, some research. Ladies are yeah. in trouble. <laughs> I saw that on Twitter. I was like, holy crap. Now, now they can, you know, I had this really crazy idea. I don't, I'll, I'll run it by you. And so we can generally talk about it, but okay. because the way that AI works is that, you know, you can basically learn everything about a person, learn their personality and turn it into like an AI chat bot. Right. Yeah. You can also impersonate a person's voice now using the AI algorithms, right? And technically you can now do the moving faces and everything. Imagine how trippy it would be to like have like, let's say a parent or a loved one trained on the AI, like how me and you are talking right now. So it learns everything about you, learns your mannerisms, learns your personality traits, learns your decision-making ability, what it is, and they pass away. And 20 years later, you can have a conversation with them. Like, let's say right now I want to have a conversation with my dad. And because the AI has learned everything about him in the future, like, let's say I'm 20 years and I just want to talk to my dad, be like, Hey dad, my day is going like this. And literally I can hear my dad's voice. I can see yeah. the decisions, you know, and how, how crazy and trippy that would, would that be? Insane. be to, yeah. You know, that would be insane. do you ever see uh, yeah. the show black mirror? Have you ever seen that show? 
you know i i keep everyone keeps telling me about it i haven't okay. seen it no bro yeah. okay so there's an episode i forget the name of it it's in the first season i believe it covers so so it's for those that are not familiar the show is like a, is based in the future like 40 years in the future where uh artificial intelligence uh all these things are just insanely advanced and th there is an episode uh maybe i shouldn't spoil it i shouldn't i won't spoil it it will no, no, address no, go ahead. Go ahead. you sure you sure yeah, okay yeah. spoiler yeah, alert yeah. It's a, so they have this technology. So this lady's husband uh, passed away and they were like in their thirties or forties and they have this company that actually will do exactly what you said, but then they'll also make a, a humanoid, ro humanoid robot version of, of that person that is perfect. That is perfect. Yeah. And so this this person this uh, humanoid robot now exists that is her husband mm -hmm. and acts exactly like he used to and says the same things and everything, but he never ages. That's the that's Ooh. the one that's the one issue is that he that bot never ages and so she yeah. has to deal with the whole thing where she's aging but he's not aging you know and it's just a robot that it's just he's just the same person always that he doesn't yeah. really like change with time in the way you would think they would change with time so it gets mm -hmm. really crazy and it like the show yeah. covers those kinds of topics but it will wow. probably happen what you said like why not yeah the technology exists why wouldn't it happen you know? Yeah, like I, I, I think about it all the time. And I'm just like, wow, you know, I wish I could talk like my grandfather passed away a long time ago. I was like, I wish I could talk to my grandfather, you know, it's like, hey, grandpa, how was life back in blah, blah, blah? How, how did you sure. deal with this issue? You know, and to be able to like, have that person give some sort of feedback feels like it's like, there's an emotional component to it, too. You know? Yeah. So it's just Yeah, these, I, I'm just for me, when I look at AI, I see the possibilities are just endless for it. The question yeah. is now for me is how do I invest in AI to the point where I can become wealthy enough? So, I mean, technically I could retire right now. I have enough, I have enough liquid capital to retire, but I'm not at a point where I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm good to the good. And I, I can go to like any resort that I want to. Like if I go to a resort right now, I'd still have to be a little bit price conscious, you know? Sure, sure. Um, so so I, I want to get to a point where I'm not price conscious anymore. It's like, oh, you sure. know what? Uh, yeah, I'll go to the Four Seasons. It's okay. The sandals <laughs> will go there. We're not going to stay at some rinky dink, you know? So I, I'm trying to get to that level. So I, I think I'm about maybe five to 10 years away from that. But once okay. I get there, then I'm going to expand my horizons. Just hopefully by then, um, you know, I'll I'll be a little bit more like understanding of some of the other things. Cause I think I, I, I do like the concept of freeing up a person's mind. And I'm glad you're retired. I think the perspective that you have makes like, you have a different perspective than I think the nine to five person who doesn't necessarily have that additional time to think about things, you know? And mm. so it, it's good. It, it all, it all plays into, into um, having some free time to, to do other things that you are very passionate about. Yeah. And I think I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get to that point where eventually I'm, I can be free from the nine to five so that I can pursue my passions and other things. You know? Yeah, no, I appreciate yeah. that, man. Thank you. I think, yeah. I think that was by far my biggest, uh, learning from this experience this sort of super fortunate path that i'm on you know i'm not yeah. i'm not a, i'm not bawling out of control let's be very uh, yeah. clear here like i'm i'm yeah. like i'm like you like i can't do four seasons every time we go on vacation we can take three to four vacations you know a year and go somewhere yeah. with my wife and i and be fine and do the things that we want to do and that will mm. more than cover what we want to do but it's almost like it's almost like that additional time in itself is the most valuable thing in the world like yeah. to me and i think and i think it, it is to most people if they have the chance to get that time like that's the thing yeah. we have to work on as a society like how can we get that time for everybody you know like and that's why things like ai and and robotics and stuff like that is so so fascinating to me because that seems like the tool set that's finally going to allow the individual to gain their time back from mm -hmm. whatever this thing is that we call life at least in the western world where we're just you know especially in america where there's this yeah. culture around work as hard as you can forever and then retire when you're 65 when you're diabetic and obese and you're freaking on yeah. your deathbed already like it's like okay yeah. so but what the hell is the point then at, at that point right so yeah. i think figuring out a way to make that happen is increasingly becoming more and more part of what i want to do and mm -hmm. i think folks will find ultimately the most joy from having time from having time um and i and i encourage everybody to try and go on that journey however they can and what sucks about that is that most people probably can't 
because yeah. it's just circumstances, right? Like, you yeah. know, you, you, where you grew up, who you grew up around, the opportunities around you, you know, having the ability to sort of educate yourself with other things, the school, the education system around you, you know, yeah. but like, how can we, how can we start making a, a, a advancements in that so that more and more people can be, can be brought forward to that? You yeah. Know? Even that AI is helping with that. I know that um, yeah. there's some companies right now where, you know, like everyone, like right now, when you go to a classroom, it's very cookie cutter, right? Where you're just learning based on, and everyone is, but you know, me and you know, people learn at different paces. Yep. Imagine instead you had an AI on the other end teaching you and then testing you. And then when you're correct, it lets you go on to the next section. Whereas if you're not, it'll re-explain it to you in a certain way. Like um, there's this company, Duolingo. I don't know if you use yeah, it. I use it to Duolingo. learn. I love Duolingo. I've been using it to learn German and it's it's amazing. And now they have like a math component to it and they're going to put some science stuff into it. So I'm just like, wow, this even in terms of like teaching the individual where you don't necessarily have the opportunity before. Now you're actually having the opportunity where you can physically just log on and be ready in a classroom setting. And the AI is just helping you teach you and learn. I mean, helping you learn and teach you at the same time. And yeah, yeah, it's like I said, there's so many industries that are going to be hopefully enhanced and not disrupted, you know, because yeah. I don't want people to lose their jobs. I think people need a purpose. So hopefully AI doesn't yeah. take that purpose away from us. It's going to be you fascinating know? to track, man. It's going to be absolutely yep. fascinating to track.